Some people believe that when they begin to serve God, that things should get better for them. For instance, no bad thing should happen to them. Everything should be rosy. They should have no trouble because when they were in sin, they had many troubles. So they believe that since they are living for God, that they believe that they should have no troubles. In many cases, your troubles begin. <laughs> How can I say this? When you live for God, let me say this. When someone tells me that they are a Christian and <clears throat> they say that they have no troubles or everything is going well with them, perhaps a couple or a few things comes to my mind. Either they are speaking in faith they are lying so two things really they are either speaking in faith or they are lying when you live for God you are going to be tested and so many people don't understand this they believe that when they get tested they feel so overwhelmed that they may say to themselves well if God is going to allow these bad things to continue to happen to me it is the same as when I was in sin which it is not when you begin to live for God you are always going to be tested the higher that you elevate in God the higher that your faith increases in God the more difficult the tests are going to become let's say let me say this too Everyone is not on the same level in God. Let's say that, to make this really easy to understand, let's say that there are 10 levels in God that you can elevate in God. Let's say that there is a person that is a level eight and there is another person that is a level three. The level eight can tell the level three what that person is going through. The level eight can tell the level three what he or she is going through. But the level three is not going to understand because they are not going through the same things as the level eight. I pray that makes sense. The higher that you increase in God, the more stuff God is going to allow to come down your way. So, let me say the right words. I don't know what word to use. <laughs> don't be silly. When trouble comes your way, when you are living for God, when you are living for God, when you are in sin, you should expect trouble to come your way. I remember when I was in sin. I expected bad things to happen to me. I tried to plan things out so when trouble came, I would not lose as much. I was a very bad person. Anyways, when you live for God, trouble is going to come your way. God is going to test your faith. 
you are either going to elevate in God or decrease in God. Or in some or in some cases, you may stay on the same level in God. Or let me say, the level that you are on now, what is going to happen, you are going to decrease and perhaps get back to that same level, then decrease. And you are going to be doing that over and over and over and over again. Going up and down, up and down, up and down. When you should be bam, bam, bam going higher and higher and higher. So the main point that I am making this video, don't give up. So many people are giving up. When trouble hits their way, they go running right back to their old way of doing things, which is so silly. Look, man, ever since I really got serious with God, I have been tested with the same things <laughs> for so long. I get tested with those things and I get tested with more things. Just because you give your life to God does that mean that you are going to be tested or not going to be tested with the things that you used to do? I don't have any want or need toward those things that I would do in the past, but they still come my way anyways. To try to get me into doing it, which it is not going to work. The more that you increase in God, the more that you are going to understand about why he does the things he do. You are going to understand demons a lot more as well. You are going to understand how wicked they really are. I know back when I was lukewarm, I guess I can say, I used to think to myself, why would God send demons to hell? Like, why would he be so mean to, in the end, send them to the lake of fire? How can God be so mean and cruel and stuff like that? <laughs> As I stated, the more you elevate in God, the more God is going to open your eyes. When someone, listen, I may know this, another person may know something that I don't know. I may know something that they don't know. If someone knows something that you don't know, give me a second, please. If someone knows something that is based upon the Bible that you don't know, you should listen. Is it possible that person can be wrong when they are trying to teach you something? Yes. This is why you need to read your Bible. So if someone does say something wrong, you can point it out like, hey, what you are saying is not based upon the Bible. But what I am trying to say I don't know everything. You don't know everything as well. How foolish would it be if someone knows something and is trying to teach you something, but 
in pride, you are not willing to listen. It does not matter how many people you teach. It does not matter how well you know the Bible. There are going to be some things you just don't know. So to increase your knowledge in something, it is good to have your ears open toward other people. Of course, there are going to be people that are going to try to lead you astray. So I pray that this all makes sense. God is going to test you so much so much and it is going to get to a point where let me say this right <laughs> it is going to get to the point where you are like whatever you know of course you should pray and fast and stuff like that but trouble is going to come to your way but it is not going to shock you as much as it is shocking you now. You want to, you want to get to the point, the way that you are thinking now, you want to get to the point where you are not having any trouble now. You want to get to the point where everything is peaceful, so on and so on. While you are on earth, that is not going to happen. Only in heaven, that is going to happen. So if you want all that peace and things of that nature, you are going to have to go to heaven. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless.